member is suggesting there should be income limits. Question number five, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, is the price of fuel a factor that he will be taking into consideration when he makes future decisions on fuel taxes? If so, will he drop his proposals for increased fuel taxes if the price of fuel reaches $3 per litre? The Hon. Phil Twyford. International oil price fluctuations have a far greater influence on petrol prices than the policy of the previous government and this one of regular small increases in the petrol excise. When setting petrol taxes, we must balance affordability and the infrastructure that New Zealand needs. Petrol taxes are what enable us to invest in regional roads, safety improvements, order, transport and rail. Now, now the member will stand and answer the second part of the question. Uh, it's, a, it's a hypothetical, Mr Speaker. <laughs> will he drop his proposals to increase fuel taxes if the price of petrol reaches $3 a litre? That is a hypothetical. <laughs> Has he seen reports that the price of fuel could reach $3 a litre, or are those commentators just like the kids at Treasury disconnected from reality? <laughs> well, Mr Speaker, I have seen reports that between January and June 2015, petrol prices increased by 40 cents a litre. The then Minister, Simon Bridges, went ahead with an excise order, increase order, in July. Order, order. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Does he remain committed to higher fuel prices as he's proposing with his fuel tax increases? I'm not committed to higher fuel prices, but I am committed to making the investments that this country needs to deliver a 21st century transport system and invest in the growth in our country's biggest city, which is currently crippled by nine years of underinvestment and neglect. Committed to, to increasing fuel prices through increased taxation, will he drop his proposals for increased fuel taxes in the face of record high fuel prices that we're now looking at? Our government is, a, is committed to making the investments that our country needs in a 21st century transport system. When that party was in government, they increased the fuel excise six times in nine years by 17 cents a litre in the, at a time when petrol prices were going through the roof. Dr Deborah Russell. Oh. What, alternat <laughs> what alternatives are there to excise increases? Well, Mr Speaker, the reality is pretty simple. If we're going to have um, less revenue to pay for transport projects, we would have to run more debt, cancel more projects, or both. The opposition is asking us simultaneously to have less revenue, run less debt, and spend more. The maths just don't add up, and all those demands came from the same party. That member needs to come clean and tell New Zealanders what projects he would cut. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, has the uh, Minister seen reports that between January and June 2015, petrol prices increased by 40 cents a litre, wow. but then Minister Simon Bridges went ahead with an excise increase in July? Wow. Mr Speaker, I have seen reports that showed that petrol went up by 40 cents a litre during that period. Order. Order. Thank you. Jamie Lee Roth, do you have another supplementary? Right. Question number six, Paul Eagle. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question.